Hey guys, Jeff here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about one of the most notorious fast food promotions of all time, McDonald's Monopoly. What started off as an innocent marketing promotion ended in a $24 million fraud, eight arrests, 50 convictions, and three years in federal prison over a McDonald's game piece. Let's figure out what happened. McDonald's Monopoly was introduced in 1987 as a way to increase sales of McDonald's burgers, fries, and drinks. The game was done in partnership with Hasbro and featured miniature Monopoly properties attached to the side of meal items, usually in pairs. The game pieces followed a similar structure to the board game. The most valuable board game pieces were linked to the most valuable sweepstakes prizes, and players had to collect a full set to win. And there was a lot at stake. Cars, vacations, and even $1 million in cash were all up for grabs. And your Coca-Cola. And you can win big. Marvin Gordon! Monopoly has come to life at McDonald's with over $40 million in food, prizes, and cash. You can win a million dollars, collect the right game pieces, or win instantly. Hard luck. I just want to say this promotion actually worked. I remember being a kid and not even wanting a Happy Meal. I was like, you know what made me happy? A McDonald's game piece. I want a million dollars. Thank you. So McDonald's wasn't actually running this contest themselves. Common among contests this size, management of the game was outsourced to a company called Simon Marketing. The idea was to ensure fairness and reduce the risk of internal fraud by handing things off to someone outside of the McDonald's corporation. But as it turned out, this third party ended up being the cause of the very problem they were hired to solve. Most of the game pieces were extremely common and mass produced, but there was a handful of very rare ones linked to prizes with the highest value. Again, to protect against fraud, Simon's head of security, an ex-cop by the name of Jerome Jacobson, would personally fly to packaging facilities to hand distribute winning game pieces at various locations throughout the country. The game piece supplier also provided Jacobson with special anti-tamper seals needed to distribute these pieces. But instead of including them in the packaging, he turned around and sold them to predetermined associates in exchange for a portion of their winnings up front. Between between 1989 and 2000, Jacobson and his network won nearly every top Monopoly game prize. Over 12 years, the total fraud came to an estimated $24 million in cars, cash, and trips. In 2000, things began to fall apart when police got an anonymous tip that the most recent $1 million winner was potentially rigged. This led to a lengthy police investigation resulting in Jacobson's arrest. He was later sentenced to three years in prison and forced to pay back $12.5 million and restitution. Luckily, Jacobson had also stolen a Monopoly get out of jail free card, which he presented to the court at sentencing. And in response, the judge had no choice but to clear him of all charges. I just want to say my wife told me not to make that joke and I did not listen. And now I'm regretting that decision because that was corny as hell. And, and, and coming from me, that says a lot. Stupid. As always, my name is Jeff. Thank you for joining me. And please hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Hey guys, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future topics, please leave them in the comments.